come to bless the name of Jesus. For there is no other name like it unto him except Jesus. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody mad but the devil. I come to serve notice on him. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. You may wonder why I say that because you, you know I was in an accident three days before I came here. Totaled my car. I don't have a car when I get back home. We riding around today and we get hit again. And my body get jumped again. Oh Lord, have mercy. I told the devil, you know what? I, I, we brought deliverance last night. But with this hurt neck and this hurt back, I'm going to give you another black eye. That's why I need some folk who really want to bless the Lord. I've been here, I've been here, I've been here tonight. That's why, that's why God said in this hour, as the men and women of God, we ought to keep it R and R, keep it real and keep it relevant. Well, because the folk God given to bring off the streets, they don't care about your Hebrew and Greek. Can you break it on down? Will you get out your shoes and get down and dirty? Will you go through my process with me? Will you pray me through? Even if I fall tomorrow, will you still pull my hand and say, baby, you are still God's diamond? Oh, do you have enough perception to see a diamond in the raw? Do you see the deacon in the drunk? Do you see the prostitute? Do you see the evangelist? Oh, or do you, oh, oh you're so such a mushy. Some of you still sinning in the name of Jesus. But at least they real with it. If I'm a sin, I'm a sin, but when I get it, I'm going to get it. But don't you see? To do 1 and 14. To back it up, are we not all ministering angels sent forth to minister for them who shall receive salvation? That's why God in the earth, still folk, you can't be true. You can't be true to yourself. Or sit down until you can be true with you, true to yourself. God, I don't have it all. I just ain't got it all. God, respect that more than you faking, kicking up fuss, dust, and muss, and giving, giving the attitude. Gotta, gotta pray through your face and, and sing through your nastiness. Oh, somebody keep it real up in the house. Oh, we need some love up in the house. We need some people of God who haven't forgot that God coming up your mess and get next to you. Think you got a monopoly. You don't understand. You don't understand. God had to get you here for such a time as this. Oh, let it go. Let it go. Stop tripping. It don't take God. It don't take God long to do what He do. Huh. Have your Bible. John chapter five. Every house that's represented under the sound of my voice, and I'm talking about church now, ministry, I speak to every need in the ministry. Even as you're getting it, I speak to every need because when you work it in God's will, God's will is his bill. God says, stop worrying about what you don't have and the money. If it's his will, it's his bill. God can have somebody walk up and give you a check for everything. You're trying to make it happen, but, you, but it's not your ministry. God gave you oversight of his will, his bill. Say, God, okay, this is what I need. Bam, okay, you got to pay that bill. And God says, just, just go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. What you mean go to sleep? Because when God promised Abraham, Adam something, he said, Adam, I'm going to create for you, but I want you to go to sleep. And when Adam went to sleep, God took out of him to create for him. Adam is sleeping. Adam is sleeping. But he left enough of himself in him to recognize his blessing for him. And so when Adam woke up, and he only woke up when God woke him up, 
So when God woke him up and brought his blessing to him, he recognized himself and his miracle, and he began to prophesy to it. Oh, when God wakes you up, oh, when the promise is here, the only thing you're going to be able to say is, wow, you are flesh of my flesh, because I had to birth you while I was sleeping. And that's why you can't take credit for what God is doing. Because you're supposed to be asleep. Y'all can preach that after I leave. John chapter 5. <sighs> hmm. Verse number 4. For an angel came to Peoria. At a certain season. That's what your Bible say? That's what my Bible say. And troubled the water. Mm, that's it right there. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole. Uh oh. Of whatsoever, of whatsoever disease he had. For an angel went down at a certain season. Ah. And troubled the water. Ah, no, no, shea. And whosoever then first, after the troubling, stepped in was made whole. Of whatsoever, whatsoever disease he had. The ricochet effect. You don't see it, but you see the effect. Very familiar passage of scripture. But we're going to let God speak and revelate tonight. It says in chapter verse 1, after this there was a feast and Jesus had just worked his second miracle of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is present day in Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda. Having five porches. Ah, God. Bethesda. <coughs> Bethesda was near the temple. Mm, theological studies have found out that Bethesda was located near a temple. We're going to preach right from the start. Located near a temple. I'm, I'm going somewhere with that. Folk went in and out of the temple three times a day to pray near a temple. Folk are laying by the pool called Bethesda. And the pool is located by a temple. And folk are going in and out of this temple three times a day. <laughs> well, my question is this, and my concern is this. If folk are going in the temple three times a day to pray, where is the power they're supposed to have when they come out? Oh, we already preaching already. Why? Was there even a pool full of impotent folk? If folk are going to the temple three times a day. Oh, I, 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 I am of the persuasion. But if I get in God's presence, when I come out of his presence, whatever I 